All right, everybody, we are back again now. This is round four, I believe, of the RD's Extreme Dirt Racing Series here. We are going to be at Weedsport today. Very interesting track. It's not too far from me geographically. It's in New York. I'm in Pennsylvania. And it's a very oddly shaped track, as you will see in turns one and two here as we start our qualifying session. Turns one and two, it's... There, it's just kind of a really sharp first corner, then it really opens up in turn two, which means there's only really one line into the corner. You take it from the inside and then exit to the outside. Kind of like a traditional corner that you would see me do in F1 games as you see me perform it right there. The bad thing about it is that kind of eliminates half the track for an opportunity to overtake. You know, so you have to do all of your overtaking through turns three and four, essentially. And also, this kind of creates a weird situation where the outside lane is much better on restarts because you obviously can't just ignore the car that's on your outside, and the car on the outside is going to have all the grip on the exit, and the exit is better than the entrance because it has that nice cushion there on the outside, which helps you keep your speed up. So you'll see that take, take effect throughout this uh, event here and right here you'll just see us putting some qualifying laps down really throwing it into one and two trying to keep the line as straight as possible in the curved back stretch into threes and four you don't want to go too high on the cushion because you will hop the cushion and go into the outside wall as it straightens out on the exit of four and now we will see where that puts us for the heat race itself our lap was good enough for third here, and I believe this was a four group event, which means that all that I need is the top three to advance into the A main. But, like I said earlier, the outside lane is much better on the restarts, and you see here is RPM passes us on the outside here on the first lap. You need the outside for the exit of turn two, and you also need it for the entirety of turn three and four. So yeah, you're actually at an advantage by being the car behind on restarts, which is a really inconvenient thing, but it is what it is, I guess, at the end of the day. Not every track is going to be perfect and play perfect in every game. But we still got plenty of laps to try to make it happen, but that's exactly what I was talking about. It's so easy to jump the cushion on this track in 3 and 4, and I made a big mistake pushing too hard to get back my position from RPM, and I made the mistake there. But luckily I'm not too far back from the competition, so one mistake will easily put me back into the top three. Only three laps to go now, and I am quickly running out of time to make things happen. I see RPM getting loose in front of me, but he keeps it together enough to, you know, not fall back into our clutches. <laughs> but only two laps to go, and at this point, I was feeling like my chances are pretty slim. Pretty shitty situation. And on the last lap, I just need to hope that one of them make a mistake. We cut really close to the inside of the wall. I'm pushing really hard to try to get back up here. But it is not going to be enough. We are going to finish P4, which means we will have to race in the B main to get ourselves into the feature event. We will start second in the B main. We get a much better start on the traction, and here's a perfect example of how you can see that the outside lane is much better. Now granted, I did also get a better launch, so that obviously helps, but just in general, the outside is just way better when restarts. Which is a damn shame, too, because, you know, it, it creates a situation where if there's a late caution, I almost said safety car there, <laughs> uh, if there's a late caution, then, and there's a green-white checkered, then whoever was leading just gets fucked, you know, which is, it's really inconvenient. We're already coming up to lap traffic here, hopefully we can get by him cleanly, he's just gonna ride the outside fence and do his best to stay out of our way. We pull all the way forward to lap 11. We slowly break away from second. We're not breaking too far away from him, though. Nothing's really changed until now. We get a late caution, and that's exactly what I didn't need. I just got done explaining what was going to happen, and now I'm in that situation where I am on the terrible line in a situation. I believe this is a green-white checkered situation. 
No, it would be three to go at the line. I get decent traction off the start, but as you can see, the outside lane is just too good. You can just keep so much more speed on the outside on the restart. And now I'm going to have to make something happen to be able to get that position back. I only need to get top three to advance to the A main, but, you know, I want to get this win back that I felt like I earned rightfully. And with one lap to go, not quite able to get underneath him. I'm going to try to do it in the final corner, but it's not going to happen. We are going to come second place, and that's just, that's a shitty situation I was talking about. You know, if, if a restart comes and you're the leader, you're just going to lose the lead at all, at no fault of your own. It's, this track really wasn't a great track for racing. Like I said, the outside's better by a long shot on restarts, and half the track you have no chance of overtaking on. But it is what it is. You got to adjust to the challenge, and we'll see what we can do in the A main. We at least got ourselves into the A main, and that's really the only thing that mattered in these sessions. Now it's time to head into the A main itself. I believe we'll be starting in 14th out of the 15 cars that have made the feature race in this event. Again, we're making a habit of making the A mains, which is a lot better than how things start. We gotta be careful though, because the OU2 on the outside of me, Yammy Man, he's known to hit people. <laughs> And there you can see a lot of incidents. We're able to pass a lot of cars. We have a great start. And a wreck happens in front of us. And now we are in dead last. <laughs> and that shit just sucked. I was... Yeah, you can hear me there. I gained so many positions off the start just to have it all taken away from me at no fault of my own. And we're actually in a worse position than we started in. And... Yep, yeah, getting caught up in an incident early on, really annoying, but hopefully with essentially the whole race to go, we can gain a lot of them back. And right, look at this here. People can't even drive straight without hitting each other. Honestly, it's kind of pathetic at this point. Like, these are supposed to be some of the best drivers in the world, and they can't even function without assists. It's honestly kind of pathetic. I can't wait until next season. A little spoiler alert for next season, a little way to hype it up. There's going to be damage on, so these damage off merchants aren't going to be able to fucking hang, and I can't wait to watch it unfold, let me tell you. It's going to get rid of a lot of these phonies. <laughs> a lot of these people that'll just slam it up into your car expecting nothing bad to happen. A lot of people that'll bank it off the exit wall like I just did right there and expect nothing to happen. I mean, luckily I've been playing a decent amount of career mode with damage on full. And there again, it's like I literally can't even avoid the incidents. There's just people hitting everything but the fucking flag man all over the place. And like I keep saying, it really just creates a really frustrating experience. You can't even function in this lobby and drive normally because everyone around you is just, quite frankly, completely incompetent. But we'll see what we can do on the restart. I always tend to get really good traction on the restarts. We're going to be able to get to the inside of RPM, but again, we are on the inside and the outside lane is going to get a better run. Got yeah, people slamming off of each other. We nicked the inside wall. We're going to get hit in the rear. That was pleasant. And we're just going to get ignored on the outside. They're just going to slam it up into us. So we're going to try to merge back to the inside, expecting each other to, well, the cars ahead to slam into each other, which kind of happened. But it's just an absolute confuckle right now. I'm going to get slammed into once. I'm going to get hit twice. On the exit of the corner, I'm going to get hit a third time. I'm going to get hit in the rear on the exit. I'm going to get hit a fourth time. Yeah, this is just an absolute shit show. I can't emphasize enough how excited I am for damage to be on next season. Because when you saw all those people slam into each other in the first two corners of the race, they're gonna not going to have the pace to be able to keep up with you for the rest of the race. You're just not going to be have to fucking worry about situations like this. We're going to get clipped in the rear wheel again. Yeah, and I can't wait for these damage off merchants to get their due recompense, if I do say so myself. Uh, we got a car on the outside fence. He is going to completely ignore the fact that he's a lap car. That's always pleasant. We have more cars in the fence on the outside. We're going to have a lap car get into us again. We're going to have someone else just slam into us. He's going to slam into us a second time because, you know, really got to make sure he got that slam in the first time. And we're going to make a mistake here. They're going to make a mistake ahead. 
this race is just an absolute shit show at this point. I don't even know what caused the caution, if it was one of us hitting the wall or something else going on behind. But yeah, this track isn't even that hard to drive, it's just it's irritating to try to work around these people, <laughs> drive around these people, honestly. Like I said, I can't wait until next season. Can't wait until damage is on. They can hit shit in the first lap and then not have to deal with them again anymore because their cars will be so damaged. I can't wait. <laughs> We're going to try to hook the inside because everyone slams up into each other on the outside. Going to respect the space of the car on the inside there, do a nice little crossover move, but he's going to slam down to me way on the inside of the track, and then his fellow New Zealander teammate is going to put me up into the wall. That's just the absolute standard by that team. They remind me of the F1 Cobras back in the F1 2019 days. And this guy's going to put us in the wall too because he's incompetent. He has a cone on his back wheel too. Just kind of representing the kind of clown show <laughs> that, that, that this is. Eight laps to go. We're up to ninth. Definitely could make a lot more passes happen, but just playing a game of dodging clowns at the clown show. Seven to go, he's going to get into the wall on the outside. He's very unstable, I don't know where I can go. He's going to hit the outside wall. We're trying to pass him clean. Now we're going to get passed on the outside. We're getting held up by this guy. And he's just going to slide up. We're going to make the slide job happen too. So we're going to get that position back. Now with five to go, we are still in ninth place because the car we just pass was a couple laps down anyhow four to go can we get one more position We're trying to get every point we can I don't even remember where we were in the championship at this point of the season but we've definitely been moving up the rankings ever since we've been consistently making it into a mains but three to go I'm running out of chances he's gonna ride the top I don't know how he didn't lose more speed there we're gonna clip the wall on the inside pushing hard and that is going to move us about a second and a half behind him. We're going to get tapped in the rear there. Hopefully no one hits us in the final lap. And we should be able to take P9 with no problem. Very really irritating race. Kind of impossible to play the game around these people. Can't wait for next year when damage is on. And that'll take care of a lot of these damage off merchants. But till then, we will have round five coming out in the next couple days. We'll see you guys in the next one.